In this unique series of videos, we are going to take you right back through to the beginning of our story and look through the history and heritage of some of our incredible race cars. Okay, so here we have the M7C from 1969. Bruce had a real reputation for redesigning his cars. Now this is the only chassis of its kind in the world. The M7C was described as kind of the cigar box shape of chassis. We refer to this as the Thursday car. You'll notice the two very high wings. Now teams were really beginning to understand about aerodynamics and the wings were getting higher and higher and higher because the air was simply more efficient and cleaner up here. The problem was we were generating so much rear downforce that was pitching the car back and generating massive understeer at the front. It's always a trade-off. So to combat that, this front wing was introduced. Now this got banned very quickly. The reason why we call this the Thursday car is because we introduced it at the Thursday morning free practice of Monaco 1969 and it got banned simply because it was too dangerous. This developed the nickname the guillotine. Now that really doesn't need any more explanation than that. Let's just talk about a couple of firsts on this car. You'll notice the colour. This is the traditional McLaren papaya orange. But also, we have the little Kiwi. He makes his appearance here back in 1969. Now, I don't know if you've seen the video regarding Bruce McLaren and the story of the nostrils, but if you come a bit closer, we can just check that out. The story features around the fuel filler cap. Now you'll notice the hinge of the fuel filler cap is at the front. So if the car is traveling forward, the air coming over the car would effectively push this fuel filler cap down. Bruce was pre-season testing and he noticed that the faster the car was going, this was, this was flapping. He initially thought it was bad workmanship and uh, that a mechanic hadn't completed his job properly. It wasn't to do with that, it was to do with aerodynamics, that higher pressures were being created underneath it and pushing the fuel filler cap up. So the story was that he drove into the pit lane, went to a mechanic's toolbox, took a pair of cutters and started hacking away at the front bodywork of the car at that time just behind the front radiator, thus creating the nostrils, which are a key design feature and carried on through for many, many years. The idea of that was to change the air pressure and create more positive downforce coming over the car and improve performance. Now for the real petrol heads amongst us, uh, we need to talk about the engine on this car, the Ford Cosworth DFV or double four valve. Just follow me to the back. Now we weren't the first team to introduce this, but 1969 was the introduction of this engine for us. Uh, a very special engine, and in fact the most successful engine in Formula One history. Some people said it was 10 years ahead of its time in terms of its design. We actually ran it for 14 years, so there is an element of truth within that. The engine is bolted directly onto the back of the chassis, so this is the first engine which became a stressed component of that car and no less than 176 Grand Prix victory for the Ford Cosworth DFV. So an incredible engine, incredibly strong and very, very reliable.